How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Brunt Work Boots. Uh, these are the ring and these are in a high top. They also come in a low cut, um, but obviously these are the high tops. So this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Brunt. I'm just doing this to share my experience with these boots and potentially help somebody out there that's looking for a comfortable, affordable boot. And these boots are it. I've tried many boots before, sneakers, boots, you name it. Uh, very affordable to very high end. And um, they all seem to fail at a fairly quick rate, right around eight, nine months. These are a year old. So a lot of wear and tear on them. A lot of elements, snow, ice, uh, hot weather, cold weather. You know, you name it, it's been through them. So they've been tried, they've been tested. So I'm very happy with them. So happy that I actually bought a second pair to replace these because eventually they do get old. So they have some wear on them. It's time to replace them. So uh, let's start off by going over some of the features. They are waterproof as a indicator right over here. Not once have my feet gotten wet, even after that big gash. And we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, they are electrical uh, hazard rated. Um, they also are oil and uh, slip resistant and they are lightweight. And part of the reason they are lightweight is because of the composite toe, instead of uh, having aluminum or you know a steel toe, which is uh, great, uh, but that adds some weight. So the composite toe keeps you uh, with a safety toe, uh, but also keeps the boot on a lighter side. So on this boot right here, this is my right foot. I had a Civic Type R rotor fall on it. It's about 20, 22, 24 pounds, something like that. From about a workbench height, um, and obviously you see the big gash on it, but my toe was essentially unaffected, which is great. The boot did its job. And other than that, the boots are in fairly good condition. I had this tear on me, the pull tab right over here around nine months or so, 10 months, maybe something like that. Uh, other than that, the shoelaces are original. Everything's original to the boots. And you can see they definitely look pretty oiled up. At least to me, they do. And uh, once again, I use them, uh, you know, five times a week, six times a week for the last year, and they've been great. So these are 135 bucks. Uh, like I said, very affordable. And um, for the price, in my opinion, you can't beat them. They're comfortable. They're lightweight. They're, uh, you know, overall very good. And I have not have any issues with them at all. So, um, like I said, these are a year old, so I was so happy with them that I wanted to replace them with the same boot, but I actually ended up, again, the same boot just in the low top that I mentioned earlier before, which uh, costs a little bit less. They come in at $105 versus $135. Also, if you join their mailing list, they do offer uh, five hours off that, and it is free shipping as well. So, I bought these over the winter break, and this is where you get in the box. They were running a promotion uh, for Black Friday, and they sent me this beanie uh, for free, which is great. And then you get the sticker inside of the box. I love stickers. So then you have your work boots. I'm just going to take one out for now. So this is the new work shoe. So in comparison to the tall, high tops, you know, same design, same everything, just once cut low, once cut high. And I just wanted to try something a little bit different. And uh, for the winter, I'm actually going to be getting their Perkins. And um, they're just a little bit different design. Once I try those for a couple months, I'll review those. But for now, let's focus on these. So um, these do come with uh, two different inserts. If you happen to have a wider foot, you have this one on top and then this one on the bottom. Uh, they recommend removing this one and just keeping this one. Uh, I don't have that issue, so I'm going to be putting both of these inside. And these offer a lot of cushion, which is nice, especially if you're standing on your feet all day. That makes it a great, you know, nice little cushion for you. Uh, I'm on my feet about 8 to 10 hours a day, you know, a lot of movement. And uh, I'm on cement, so, you know... Before it gets cold, it's hard, and I never have any issues with any fatigue or anything like that. Like anything else, they stu do start to wear out. But uh, like I said before, most boots tend to, um, you know, start giving me issues around an eight, nine month mark or so. And the only issue I had once again was this tearing, and that's honestly for me not losing them enough. So that is uh, that. Once again, guys, these are great mechanic boots in my and in, in my opinion. And these can even be for other professions as well. But if you're looking for an affordable, 
comfortable, lightweight boot. Look no further, these are it. I've tried many, many boots, many shoes, many sneakers, and uh, these have been my absolute favorite, and that's why I went ahead and purchased the second set, which I'm gonna be using starting uh, tomorrow. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos just like this one.